now available on Instagram. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Jasmina and this is my channel. And you can drink every time I say channel. Channel, channel, channel. Anyway, this video is about my Balenciaga collection. And I thought I would share that with you guys today. I think the pieces I have are very reflective of my own personal style, as well as the brand under the creative direction of Demna. I actually grew up in Eastern Europe. My family moved to America when I was 10 years old. My first 10 years of my life were in the 80s and the early 90s in Eastern Europe. Europe. So Denma's references are very much in that time that I was growing up. It just hits me with nostalgia. It just hits me with childhood nostalgia, simpler times. And it's honestly a great selling tool. A company can use nostalgia. They can sell anything. So yeah, nostalgia is a great marketing tool. And I'm pretty much being hit with nostalgia with Demna's Balenciaga. But I also love how it feels very at the moment right now, but it's looking towards the future. I just think he's a fabulous creative director. I only have a few designers that I really collect things from. Marnie, I mean, is probably my biggest collection. Phoebe Philo's Old Celine, Prada. It just speaks to me. And now Demna's Balenciaga is really speaking to me as well. So he has been added to the repertoire of the Jasmina collection. I'm like collecting fine art, but it's just my clothes and it's like not worth that much. So I'm just an investor in stuff that probably no one wants that much. But you know, if you get it, you get it. And if you're watching this, you probably get it. So let's get started with my Balenciaga collection. First up is this Nicola Gasquier designed motorcycle bag, the original motorcycle bag from the early 2000s. And this is the only piece in my Balenciaga collection that is not from Demna and that it is from Gasquier. When Gasquier was at Balenciaga, it was pure genius. I loved every moment of it, but I was too young and broke to afford any of that. This bag was my first designer bag. I saved up for it for like a whole year and I think it was a thousand dollars back in the day. Now I feel old and I have my own vintage. I have I've worn this bag to death. It is still fabulous, even though it's a little, it's been through things, you know, but it's still fabulous and cool and I love it so much. I would love to get an updated version. I love what they're doing with the tiny ones, the baby pink faux croc one. I'm like, Mwah. I love it. I kind of want that one or the croissant kind of looking one, maybe in a metallic. But I definitely have my eyes on a Balenciaga motorcycle version, but for right now, I only have this one and I love it. My next bag is this, which is the New York City tourist bag. I actually do have a Balenciaga haul where I feature a lot of these things. I'll link that in the description as well, but this is really an updated version of that video anyway, and you'll see everything here. I bought this at the outlet after a few seasons. I love this bag. It's all leather, but it's this crinkly leather, so it's very durable, and it really never shows any signs of wear. There is a long strap that attaches, and you can do it messenger. I just think it's a little too big and weird to do this in a messenger. To me, it's really like a tote bag, great travel bag, great everyday bag, great work bag. It's just a great bag. And also, I've mentioned before, that Balenciaga did get sued by the company that makes these tourist bags. And this very much to me reminds me of like Demna's Vetmans with DHL, random company that has nothing to do with fashion but make it fashion. These tourist bags that you see all the time when you travel and you never think of them as high fashion, but he made it into high fashion. It's just part of his genius that I've really grown to love. Okay, let's do shoes next. I'm not gonna talk about these shoes for too long. I actually have two videos on my channel, All My Shoes Part 1 and All My Shoes Shoes part two. We talk about all of these shoes much more in those videos. I'll link them. You can watch them and you can watch all my other shoes. They're really fun videos to watch. These were the first shoes I purchased. They're the original knife mules, I believe they're called. They are the red jersey. It's a tiny little kitten heel here at the toe right there. They're not looking like in the best shape or anything right now, but I think they're still fabulous and I will still wear them. So I got the blue satin cobalt version as well with the bows. It still has a tiny little kitten heel, but this version also has a backing to it, which makes them actually even more comfortable than the red ones. I love these shoes as well. Next are the Balenciaga track sandals and I got them in this baby pink. I never pulled the trigger on the triple S tennis shoes. Everyone had one that I just, eh. They're cool, but I'm okay. But then when these came out, which is the sandal version of the track sandals, now you're calling my name because you're giving me this ugly track sandal. So unappealing and huge and like, 
ew, but it's also baby pink and it's also super intricate and interesting. These are forever shoes in my closet and just a classic Demna Balenciaga at this point. Last but not least, I have the Balenciaga Crocs. I have them in two colors. They're just crazy fun classic Balenciaga Demna taking one of the ugliest shoes ever and then making it even uglier in a way but not ugly at all and cool and fun and interesting and sarcastic. I just think this is camp. This is fashion. This is like if you get this you get me and we're vibing and we're on the same vibe if you get these. And I wear these all the time. They're very comfortable and very easy to wear and they add a good I don't know six inches to your height and you just tower over everyone and I love them. Let's move on to the ready to wear. This was my first ready to wear piece, Resort 2017, I believe. It is this huge caftan in the red and white stripe in this very crispy, gorgeous cotton. And the really fun part is that it's asymmetrical. There's one short sleeve and one long sleeve. The minute I saw this in the lookbook, I knew I had to have it. And Balenciaga does go on sale. So I just waited for it to go on sale. Honestly, not that many people were gonna be fighting me for this thing. This dress is just a classic dress done in such a fabulous, updated, cool new way. This is just a forever piece in my wardrobe. It's classic with a twist, just like me. Next up is this really cute shirt. I believe this is a men's shirt, super oversized and huge. It's the same nice, beautiful weight cotton as the red and white striped dress. And I wear this shirt as a shirt as well as a dress in the summertime. It's just so versatile. It's really actually good if you're going on like a summer vacation somewhere. It's a great beach cover up, but then it's a really great dress to wear to dinner as well. It's just kind of a Guy Fieri fantasy. It reminds me of being really young and there was this club in Orange County that was like 18 and over and it was called The Boogie. All the men there were wearing these shirts and it was just the cheesiest, grossest place and it's nostalgia hitting me again. Next up from the dresses is this super fab jersey dress that's a turtleneck. It's just this very interesting, weird pattern that's asymmetrical. One side is this huge sleeve and then the other side is pretty much a cape. It's made out of this very thick, non-stretchy jersey. Feels very cottony jersey and I like how dry the hand feel of it is. The print is just fabulous. It's a Parisian fantasy. There's like a Balenciaga bag all over it, Paris, Mona Lisa, tourism. A touristy pattern made into this fabulous, intricate weird jersey dress that's very comfortable and it feels effortless. You can never go wrong with a fabulous caftan. Speaking of fabulous caftans, here's another fabulous caftan. I got this one at the outlet. Me and my mom got the exact same dress. We both love wearing this dress. I've worn this as a shirt and I've worn this as a dress and I think it works in many different ways and you can style it many different ways. The top part of it is kind of like a viscose fabric. It's a very dry hand feel and a heavy fabric. And then the bottom scarves are just 100% silk and they're pretty much actual scarf pieces that are draped on the hem. And then the inside lining is also the silk scarves. So it's a very luxurious dress, but also a very easy dress. That's all of these dresses are just easy. Oopsie. This tag is coming off. Here we go, here's another crazy weirdo. This dress is a mad jersey material and it's very silky and luxurious feeling and it's this casino print. You can also wear this in the daytime and the nighttime. I can dress it down, dress it up. It travels really well. You can just kind of fold it up. I've actually worn this to Vegas and this is actually my favorite dress to bring to Vegas with me. It is fabulous, it's a showstopper. People in Vegas love this dress. Honestly, I can't wait for things to get better. I would really love to go to Vegas. I would really love to shop it up and eat it up and go to Mr. Chow and have some Vegas fun. I mean, this dress doesn't have to be only worn in Vegas. It can be worn anywhere and I love it. The last of the dresses is this silk dress that's also such an intricate shape. It looks like it was hand draped and it just has so many details to it. And it also has this elastic belt, which cinches in the waist, but I've also worn this without the belt. It's just another version of taking something very classic like a nightgown of some sorts and then twisting it and contorting it to be something else, something new. And then in this very graphic print. I just love everything about this dress. It's just classic Demna Balenciaga. Moving on to blouses and I have three to show you. This is the first one. This one is 100% silk and it is this hammered silk in a very fun, wild, kind of Rastafarian colors print. It's very abstract, but I think it's a floral. It came with a scarf and on the runway, they pulled a scarf through the collar 
collar. I've worn it that way. I've also worn the scarf on my head. I've also worn the scarf around my neck. I've just worn the scarf separately from the top. So it was a kind of a great two in one. And it's just a fabulous silk blouse that's a forever piece. This will never be out of style. Up next, another silk blouse. And this is just a button down with the pussy bow in a navy blue with the BB logo. It's also just a very ladylike classic piece that you would see Princess Diana wearing. But then it has this kind of obnoxious, but kind of restraint at the same time BB logo. And it also has Balenciaga actually has like a jacquard running through the whole thing. It's kind of like a Princess Diana blouse, but also very obnoxious in a logo instead of a polka dot or something. And I think that's really cool. And it's a really cool twist on a classic. The next blouse is also silk. This is like a silk crepe de chine where the navy blouse with the B was more of a charmeuse. This one is more loud. It's the same exact blouse with the pussy bow and it's a button down front and it's super oversized and it has this shape that kind of comes in. It just says Balenciaga all over it in different fonts and then it also has playing cards. So both this and the casino print dress are from the same season as well as I have a pant actually. Let me show you the pant. This pant is in the same print as the top. It's just this purple color. It's a very soft pant. It's the same crepe de chine silk kind of pajama-y pant. I actually have not hemmed it still. In that Balenciaga haul video that I mentioned that I will link in the description, I mentioned that I need to hem these and I still haven't hemmed them. I wore them a couple of times actually, but I do think I would wear these so much more if I hemmed them. So it's on my to-do list. Moving on to the only sweater in my whole Balenciaga collection is this Femme Fatale sweater that me and my mom both got at the outlet and I think it was a super affordable price and we both got it. She wears hers all the time and I have not worn this that much. I honestly think I just forgot I had it and I just remembered and now I'm gonna wear it because it's January and I think I can still wear it. You know what? I'm going to Trader Joe's tonight. I'll wear it tonight and I'll be femme fatale at Trader Joe's. So yes, it has this femme fatale embroidery on it. It's very reminiscent of, I don't know, mall goth. It reminds me of like Hot Topic or something. It has this attachment to it. that's a scarf that you can tie around your neck or around your head or you can even let it loose like this. And it has this like weird thing that my mom complains about. It has this kind of hem that's not attached. My mom thinks it's unnecessary. And yeah, I don't think it was that necessary, but it doesn't bother me. I'm definitely going to do some cute looks with this. My last and probably my most favorite piece in the whole collection is my Balenciaga opera coat made out of blue nylon. I love it. It's taking inspiration from Cristobal Balenciaga. And then it's combining it with like a varsity jacket or a track jacket or a sports jacket of some kind. It is just the most fabulous piece. It's extra, it's camp, it's sarcasm, it's it's everything that Demna is and I just love that I have this. So yeah, this coat is everything. I just love this coat and just so happy that it's part of my wardrobe. Well, that is my entire Balenciaga collection. I hope you enjoy this video and if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you do and you check out more videos and say hi in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye!